Hello, this is Mrs. Jadwin, one of the counselors at Hopkins High School. I am going to guide you through registering for your sophomore year, class of 2018. Throughout this presentation, I might encourage you to press pause so that you may take a look in our course book to read more about the course offerings and pick out your selections as we go through. First, these are your graduation requirements. In language arts, you will need two credits of English 9, two credits of Perspectives in American Literature, one credit of Global Literature, one credit of Writer's Workshop, and two language arts electives. In Social Studies, you will need two credits of Civics 9, two credits of U.S. History, two credits of World Studies, and two Social Studies electives. In Science, you will need two credits in Science 9, two credits of Biology, and two credits in either Chemistry or Physics. In Math, you will need two credits of Geometry, two credits of Algebra 2, and two additional math credits as is appropriate for you. In Health Science, you need a half a credit from Health 9, one credit of Health Science. In Physical Education, you need one credit from PE 9 and one credit from PE 10. In Financial Literacy, you need a half a credit from Financial Literacy 9 and one credit of personal finance. You need a total of two fine arts electives and 19 general electives. All of these add up to a total of 54 required credits. By the end of this year, a typical student should have met the following graduation requirements. Two credits of English 9, two credits of Civics 9, two credits of Science 9, whatever math course you have completed, Health 9, PE 9, and Financial Literacy 9. Registration for sophomore year should definitely include courses that meet the following requirements. Two credits of Perspectives in American Literature, two credits of U.S. History, two credits of biology, two credits in math, and your personal fitness PE 10 credit. Sophomore year in language arts, you have the following options. You can choose Perspectives in American Literature, which is a two-term, two-credit course, Faces of Conflict, which combines your American literature requirement with your U.S. history requirement and is offered two blocks for two terms for a total of four credits or honors perspectives in American literature. You can see some of the differences between these courses on this slide. And you can also pause the presentation at this time and turn to pages 22 and 23 in your course book to read more about these options. You can earn your sophomore social studies course requirement by taking one of the following courses, Modern U.S. History, Faces of Conflict, and AP U.S. History. Modern U.S. History is two terms, two credits. Faces of Conflict, again, combines your Perspectives in American Literature requirement with your U.S. History requirement and is offered two blocks for two terms and a total of four credits. AP U.S. History is offered for three terms and three credits. Again, you can see some of the differences between this, these classes on this slide, and you can turn at this time to pages 35 and 36 
in your course book, take a moment to pause the presentation so you can read more about these options. Math is sequential. You should register for the next course in the sequence that you are following. If in ninth grade you will have completed intermediate algebra, then you should register for geometry. If you have completed geometry, then you should register for Algebra 2. If you have completed Algebra 2, you can choose to register for Statistics, College Algebra Prep, or Pre-Calculus. All math courses are two terms and two credits. You can choose to double up in math if you would like. You can turn to page 25 and 26 in your course book to read more about our math courses. For science, you will need a total of six science credits. Sophomore year, you can choose between the following biology courses. Honors Biology Ecology, Honors Biology Genetics, and Honors Biology Human Biology. Each of those three courses is two terms and two credits. Or you can select AP Biology, which is four terms and four credits. This course is recommended for students with the highest interest in science and a desire to accelerate their studies in the biological sciences. Students must have completed Algebra 2 to take this course. You can turn to pages 32 and 33 in your course book to read more about the differences between these science courses. All of you should register for PE10 Personal Fitness for next year. If you would like to read more about this course, you can turn to page 30 in your course book. All students are required to earn a total of two credits of fine arts to graduate. All of our art courses and all of our music courses will count as fine arts credits. In the technology department, Media Arts 2 Photography and Media Arts 2 Web Design will also count as Fine Arts credits. Students can elect to take their Fine Arts courses during any grade. The following music performance ensembles are available for sophomores. All music performance ensembles are four terms and two credits and alternate during third block with the courses shown on the bottom of this slide. Please press pause and turn to your course book to pages 27 and 28. On the top of page 28, you can see which courses alternate with music. You should plan to take at least two years of a world language between 7th and 12th grade. Students who wish to continue in a language should register for the next course in the sequence they are following. Students can choose to begin a world language with level one. Please be advised that some of our level one and level two classes take place at North Junior High if the numbers are not big enough for the sections to be offered at the high school. Students can also choose to take two levels of a language in the same year, but you cannot take levels four and five in the same year. In American Sign Language, we offer levels one through three, and in French, German, and Spanish, we offer levels one through six. All world language courses are two terms and two credits. Please take a few moments to select alternate courses 
in the case that the scheduling computer can't give you all of your requested classes. Plan out three alternates. You'll enter them when you register for your classes using Infinite Campus between January 22nd and February 6th. Alternate choices are not guaranteed. Courses will be based on availability and a student's schedule. If you do not select alternate courses, we may have to automatically schedule you for a study hall or another course that you did not request. The following are samples of sophomore student schedules. This schedule shows a 15 credit schedule for a student who elected to take American Literature and U.S. History. Because the student selected only 15 credits, they were scheduled for one study hall. As you can see, this student also chose a few electives. This schedule shows a student who also requested 15 credits, but chose Faces of Conflict, This student also had room for a number of electives and was scheduled for one study hall since they only requested 15 credits. This schedule shows a student who requested 16 credits, including American Literature and AP U.S. History. This student is also in a music ensemble, which you can see was scheduled alternating with perspectives in American literature. Do you have questions? Ask your advisor, your counselor, or a teacher that you've had before. The Hopkins High School counselors are looking forward to having you at Hopkins High School next year. Good luck!